Sienna and Ditches is polling firm of more than 10 years amid fake news charges. Hello folks, my name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times and today we have a news story. This one comes courtesy of Breitbart.com and it says that CNN announced that after 10 years it parted ways this week with its longtime polling firm ORC International amid charges of fake news and faulty polls. ORC's chief marketing officer, Anna McKay Sim, confirmed that CNN, quote, did not renew their polling contract with ORC International. The polling firm worked with CNN since 2006 and had continued their partnership after the 2016 presidential election until late April. And they said, quote, we are thankful for the opportunity we have had to partner with CNN in the past and wish them well in their future polling work. She went on to say, we have no comments, no further comments at this time. CNN has instead decided to switch to the major survey research firm, SSRS, Executive Vice President and Chief uh, Methodologist of SSRS, David Dutwin, said CNN came to his firm first to bring up the possibility of working together. And they said, quote, at the end of the day, suffice to say that we are unhappy with something, Dutwin said when asked, at the end of CNN's relationship with ORC, I think we have a pretty strong, strong reputation, so they came to us with a proposal to work with them. The change in the polling firms comes at a time where the network has been hit with charges of fake news from President Trump and members of the public. The McCarthy Marist poll conducted in March found that only 7% of Americans say they had a great deal of faith in polls and 29% say they put a good amount of trust in polls. The majority of respondents, however, said that they do not trust polls uh, to at least a certain degree. 39% of people said that they do, not, they do not trust polls and 22% of respondents say that they do not trust polls at all. So that's pretty bad numbers for for poll for polling firms and and fake news CNN. It says the public distrust of polls in CNN's case may have to do with the final 2016 presidential election polls in some swing states being off greater than the margin of error. It says that CNN and ORC's international poll of who would win the 2016 general election in Pennsylvania showed Hillary Clinton leading by four points when the election results show that Trump won by 0.7 points. In Nevada, the CNN ORC international poll showed Trump ahead of Clinton by six points when Clinton won the state by 2.7 points. So CNN right now is... They are in damage control on a massive scale. Not only are they changing their polls, they are firing certain people uh, and hosts and stuff like that. What they're also doing is that they're afraid that they're going to be sold off. Okay, we have uh, reported on this before. Time Warner is the one that owns CNN. AT&T is on the process of purchasing Time Warner. But see, uh, AT&T has said that once it purchases Time Warner, they're going to sell CNN because they don't want to deal with it. AT&T has a good relationship with the Trump administration's FCC branch. So they don't want any problems between them, AT&T, and the FCC. And they think that, um, that CNN is going to cause tension. So they want to separate themselves from CNN and they are willing to sell. And CBS, fake news CBS, is willing to buy. So that's where they're at right now. Now, if they do sell off, a lot of people within CNN know that they're going to get fired. They know that there's going to be a shift. They know that they're going to come in, uh, into some changes with CNN. Okay, so they're afraid in, on, on that front. And now, since... There is absolutely no trust in CNN. There's no trust in polls. Now they're trying to scramble and see what they can do to try to change the perspective of CNN and polling by going with a different company. Okay. 
So, you know, this is just, uh, you know, this, this, is, this comes straight from the, the business playbook. This comes straight from the business playbook and where they try to make it seem like they're going to change just because they're changing from one firm to another one. Okay. So who knows what is going on in, you know, behind the scenes at CNN. I'm pretty sure it's just pure turmoil. Because they're losing viewers, they're losing subscribers, they're losing everything, and uh, what's it called? They're up. They're even about to lose a home. So, let us know what you guys think about this, folks. Do you think that CNN is going to survive the next four years? I highly doubt that CNN is going to survive the next four years. What I think might happen is that CNN is going to get dismantled and going to get absorbed by maybe one or maybe a few of the three-letter uh, mainstream media outlets like ABC, NBC, and CBS and all these other guys. I'm pretty sure they're going to absorb CNN after it gets dismantled because it's just not going to survive. And that's just basically what I think is going to end up happening. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. And like always, my name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times. And uh, President Trump spoke earlier, uh, one, regarding what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. And the other thing is the um, the bill or, you know, what he just signed a few minutes, you know, a few minutes ago. Uh, regarding the veteran affairs and uh, job opportunities and stuff like that for our veterans. So if you guys want to check that out, it should be coming up on your screen. Um, also, we have something new. We are now writing articles that we can't cover here on YouTube because of demonetization or other issues. So if you guys want to check those articles out, go to goldenstatetimes.com slash news. Okay, goldenstatetimes.com slash news and check it out. That is our news website. So make sure to go over there, give us some love and share those reports. So like I said, thank you very much, everyone. Um, one last thing, we are looking for writers for our uh, Golden State Times articles. So if you would like to um, to send us your resume or whatever, uh, or if you're interested, make sure to send me an email at gent, G-E-N-T, G as in go, E as in elephant, N as in no, T as in tornado, uh, at goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's gent at goldenstatetimes.com. Send me your stuff and uh, I'll get in touch with you and uh, we'll go on from there if you want to be a writer for us here at Golden State Times. So yeah, thank you very much, everyone. I hope to see you guys here soon. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times. Uh, make sure to check the links in the description below. If you would like to help us get to the next Trump rally, make sure to click the links in the description below for our GoFundMe. Uh, we're trying to get to the next Trump rally, folks. We really want to get there. Uh, so make sure to go to GoFundMe. If you don't want to go through GoFundMe, you can go through PayPal. The link for that is also in the description below. So if you want to help us out with a dollar, five dollars, whatever you can, that would be amazing. So that way we can get to the next Trump rally. We can stream it and film it using our own cameras and uh, bring you guys the footage that the mainstream media will not bring you, will not show you. So, yeah, folks, thank you very much for watching. If you're new, subscribe and also make sure to smack that like button and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.